Welcome back to Tar Heel Talks. Today I am joined by Taylor Otto from Carolina Women's Soccer and Matt Constant from Carolina Men's Soccer. Welcome to you both. Thanks for having us. So I know September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and both of your teams have been working on behalf of this cause. So starting with you, Matt, if you would give us a little bit more background on this um, foundation and what you guys want to do for it and what the specific goals are in terms of money raising and impact. Well, we started this two years ago. Um, both the men and women's soccer teams here were trying to raise money to support the clinical and non-medical needs for the UNC Lineberger Pediatric Hematology and Oncology Clinic. Um, so anything non-medical, such as, you know, transportation to and from the hospital, food, anything essential that the families need, especially nowadays with COVID, it seems like a great, great thing that we're trying to do. Um, and so far, our goal this year was for $15,000, and I believe we're within fifteen hundred dollars of that so we're doing a great job right now and then taylor tell us what exactly is carolina women's soccer doing to raise money and how exactly will these funds help the families and the patients uh well our team has done a really good job of just trying to get the word out through our social media and we recently just had a childhood cancer game where we all um, wore gold tape and gold ribbon just to make sure that we got the word out through our game and it was broadcasted as well and then right now we're just trying to make sure that we continuously through September make sure that we keep putting out the link to allow people to donate and just really get as much money as possible to help the families get through tough times, especially with the extra costs of COVID and everything going on. So I know this is the second year of Carolina soccer against childhood cancer. So Matt, tell us a little bit about how that partnership originally began with UNC hospitals. Well, it started last year. Um, the captain of the men's team last year, uh, Maritza Pineda um, reached out to me, said that we were going to try and partner with the UNC hospitals to raise some money. Um, Corey Sawyer Rich has been helping a lot as well in terms of you know corresponding between the two groups. Um, and it really was just a way for us to try and connect with another branch of you know Carolina and make everybody feel like we're one big family. Obviously, last year we were able to do visits. Unfortunately, this year we weren't able to. Um, we're trying to do some virtual visits, which I know the kids are going to love. Um, but it was kind of just a way to make everybody feel like one big group and help in any way that we could. And Taylor, talking about impact, how have you and your teammates seen this effect and help out families firsthand? Uh, like Matt said, I think last year it was a lot easier to see those impacts because we were able to visit in person. Um, I know we had a few team visits. We um, actually had a girl named Zoe last year that we visited quite a few times and I, you could just see the impact on the family's faces of just being there and, you know, supporting their family and then raising the money is just really